Small engine, big power. It's pretty loud. It's pretty loud, but it's pretty cool to see one of those uh, engines run. When Bashar Eid moved from building the Pure Power 1100 GJM engine to the TJ150, he was surprised. It was a huge transition going from the biggest engine that we built here, the, uh, uh, the NEO, to uh, TJ150. I did not know what to expect. I didn't know the size requirements or, or what's used in that engine. The TJ150 is a high-performance, single-rotor, high-compression, one-stage turbojet engine powering missiles. The TJ is built in relatively short order, has minimal parts, and proven reliability. Built in the West Palm Beach Engine Center, the application differs greatly from Pratt Whitney's other engine programs. Daniel Usadek is associate director for the TJ150 program. The uh, attributability of this engine is it's a one-way vehicle, right, such that it doesn't have a logistic system, a depot, spares, or repair to it. So it uh, demands uh, a high reliability uh, right out of the chute. The engine currently powers Raytheon's Missile Systems Miniature Air Launch Decoy or MAL Decoy Missile. Simply put, it looks like allied aircraft on enemy air defense systems, allowing planes like the Pratt & Whitney powered F-35 to destroy specific targets. Another engine model, the TJ-150-3, is currently in development to power the MBDA Missile Systems Selectable Precision Effects at Range or SPEAR missile a precision strike weapon system. For the mold application, absolutely it's a lot of throttle jockeying and maneuvers because it's simulating an aircraft itself. Um, for a strike or other applications, it, maneuverability is king just for being detected or not. 150 pounds of thrust can be built on a standard workbench. And it may be cliche to say, but in this case, it holds. Bashar Eid knows it too. Good things can come in small packages. You don't expect that much power and, and so much technology into an uh, engine uh, in that size.